everybody. So a few months back I made mention that the microscope quality that I have looks different from a lot of the other people who stream these types of videos, and I talked about why that is. So the microscopes that were being sold around 2013 and 14, and for some of 2015, used a different reduction piece over here than the modern ones were using. Whether you buy these microscopes from Amano or Amscope, it's almost virtually the same thing. So you see this is a short piece over here, and the newer ones use this long piece over here and there is actually a difference in image quality so what I've noticed is that on the newer ones that use this longer piece either the image is going to be a little bit in focus in the middle and blurry at the edges or what, what I'll notice is that when areas where there's light reflecting you'll see this rainbowish kind of color and splitting and I don't know the exact words for it because I'm not really into photography it's a chromatic aberrations or vignetting whatever but it doesn't it doesn't look as nice as this one and I've been trying to find out how how it is I can get this to fit on there and even when I wind up taking off all this stuff and trying to find a way to jimmy this mount onto this microscope I've yet to be successful at it. So I figured since the Omano and the Amscope microscopes look very similar that I would try to find out who it is that is making these for them and I did a lot of searching to try to find a company that would make these and I you know I, uh, this, this is something that I started doing around March April so it's taken me a while but I finally got a sample microscope that looked really good it looked just like the old ones used to look and it worked the same and what I realized is that the difference in the microscope that looks good like my old one and and these ones that don't look as good from the trinocular port is ten dollars that's right it is literally a ten dollar difference to get the one that looks good so I want to show you the difference here before I start selling them because I do plan to start selling them I have a bunch of them that are actually finally coming in this Friday and there, there's ten of them that are going to be available for pre-sale so I just want to show you how this difference comes out if you're just using the microscope out of these ports there's absolutely no reason to spend extra on this type of thing but if you do want the image quality that I get out of this microscope that is no longer available then you may be interested in this video because even from Amscope's website, Omano, Amazon, I've yet to find one that actually works as well as the old ones did and there are people that want to produce this type of content for YouTube or maybe they simply want to train their employees and they want a microscope that looks the best. So what I'm going to be doing here is not only am I going to be selling them but I actually want to price match Amazon on their microscopes that are not exactly as good as this one. So over here you'll see that the microscope that I've been affiliate linking to over here costs five hundred twenty eight dollars with free shipping and it does not include the LED ring light I'm gonna be selling mine for five hundred around five hundred fifty dollars with free shipping but I'm also going to include the ring light so I'm gonna price match Amazon on this microscope but I'm going to give you a better reduction piece over here so that if you want to plug a camera into it it'll have the same sharpness that I have rather than the blurriness that I'm gonna show you when it comes to this uh, this thing that they're selling now. The other th thing, the reason that this really does matter to me is, as I mentioned a few months ago, Amazon's done a couple of things that I'm not really a fan of. So in this video, you'll hear about how Apple's banned third parties from selling refurb MacBooks on Amazon. And aside from that, there's... Uh, they're not exactly a company with the best labor practices. You know, you'll, you'll read a lot about what it's like to work in an Amazon warehouse. The lowest paid job that you could have here for anybody putting a shipping label on a box or answering a phone, the entry level is 20 bucks an hour. Theirs is less. Uh, we have air conditioning and heating here all year round. It's nice and cold in the summer, warm in the winter. It's not exactly the same in the summer at an Amazon warehouse. It's a different environment. If given a choice between helping Amazon make money with their model or being able to ship those same products here if I'm able to make it financially viable whereby the price is the same to you and my workers get treated well I'd rather find a way to make it work here now I am an adult I'm a business owner and I am trying to expand in a business where no bank realistically wants to give me a business loan so I can't necessarily say no to what is essentially free money of affiliate linking but what I can do is try to reduce it over time if I'm taking in money from a company that I don't really want to be taking money from. I used to affiliate link Quicks, now I sell them here. I used to affiliate link Crest Ultrasonic Cleaners, now I sell them here. Uh, back in 2015, I used to, I think I used to affiliate link Flux, now I sell it here. And what I'm doing is I'm slowly replacing all of those affiliate links that you see down below with links to my own web store so that at the very least I could sleep well at night knowing that the individual that packaged those products that I sold, at the very least, there's one less step in the supply chain where people are being treated like garbage. You know, again, it's 
it is entry level work, but the lowest salary that I've got here at the moment in the store is 20 bucks an hour air conditioning, heating, people get treated like humans. So at the end of the day, I can feel better about it. And my hope, again, I can't just immediately switch like uh, on a dime to selling everything that I affiliate link in the store, especially since I have a 700 square foot store with 11 or 12 people in it at any given time plus customers. Nothing fits here. But I would like but one year from now to have zero affiliate links and to be selling everything that I link within the store. That's my goal, to slowly wean my way off of it. And it's something that I did with PayPal when I didn't like their business practices. I just cut them off of uh, this, as many sites as I could that I work on. And I'm trying to do the same thing with Amazon. So that being said, I'm going to move on and show you the difference between the microscope quality that I'm going to be selling and the microscope quality that you can currently get from these vendors that are saving literally 10 effing dollars by giving you the piece that does not uh, work as well for image quality. And again, we are going to be price matching those on Amazon so that you pay the same amount of money through us for the better one that you would be paying through the Amazon affiliate link that I have for the not so good one. Uh, so let's get started. I'm going to show you what this looks like on one of these motherboards. So we're going to take a look at this. Let me just get this thing in focus. So over here, this is the quality that you're going to have with the microscopes that I'm going to have for sale. I'm going to find myself something to inspect over here or something like that so yeah you have a chip over here and you can see that it says d p interesting set of letters to be on the chip that i chose at random there but there you go and you can also see even all the way to the edge over here that this is still in good focus this is in good focus this is in good focus and while there's light come reflecting off of the board you'll see that it's not really distorting the image too much let me just get uh there we go, adjust that a little bit. Now, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to the other type of microscope that is being used right now so that the companies that are selling them can save their $10. So as you can see here, I've had to increase the exposure a lot in order to get the exact same amount of light through, and that's going to affect image quality to some extent. The other thing you may notice is that this spins. It doesn't stay in place. This, this doesn't have any sort of locking like the other one, so it's constantly just freely floating in there. So you're going to have to zip tie your wire, and even if you do, this moves when you turn it, which is somewhat annoying. And one of the things that I prefer, like about the old one, as you can see, it's just spinning in there right now. So even when I get this into focus, if I change the focus, you'll notice a couple of things that are different about this one from the other one. The first thing that you notice is that you see how these probe points over here, there's light passing off of them, but you can see that it, you can kind of see the, it's, um, okay, I'm, I'm at a loss for words here because I'm kind of tired and it's late. But you, you see the light is shooting its way off of it rather than just reflecting off of it. It has this blurry effect on the lighting. And if I get this in focus over here, it doesn't necessarily have everything in the outer section in focus. So I got the text over here in focus, but the stuff on the absolute edges is not in focus. It's just overall, in my opinion, even though the image quality through the, the, the eyepieces looks the same to me, the image quality in the trinocular port appears to be considerably less when you're using this piece. And I've yet to figure out how it is I could mount this piece onto this microscope. I've tried, I've tried taking off this entire thing over here. It just doesn't fit the same. And the microscopes that I'm going to be selling are going to look more like the first ones. And again, I will be price matching Amazon on this. So when you add in the ring light that is not available in the Amazon one, the one that I'm going to be selling is going to have that ring light and it is going to be completely 100% price matched to the current Amazon price and you'll be getting a microscope with higher quality. So if you're wondering why is it that other people's streams have microscope quality where it's a little bit uh, messed up, even if they were willing to spend more money to get a microscope with better quality, I've yet to find an American vendor that's actually selling them at the moment because you are able to save 10 whole dollars by giving people the garbage mount versus the good one. So this microscope will come with the good one. I will put a Rossman repair sticker on the box. And again, this is a pre-order. I'm either going to be picking these up in about 20 or 30 miles that way on my bike and um, either Friday or Monday. My hope is that I can sell the, these 10 prior to uh, getting them because I'm actually going to be riding them here on my Bafang. So <laughs> this is uh, what I plan on doing because I actually thought they were getting delivered here. They're not. I'm a noob when it comes to sea transport. So over here, that is my bike. And what I'm going to be doing 
is I am going to be strapping a one microscope to my bike and then taking it to the FedEx that's about three or four miles from the facility. So this is the seat in the back of my bike. I'm going to be bungee cording it there. I'm going to take ride my bike about 20 miles over to Jersey. And then when I'm done riding my bike over to Jersey, I am going to pick them up one at a time and bring each one over to the closest FedEx uh, one at a time, charge my bike at a gas station or something. And after that, figure out a better way to transport these here. So I have these coming here by boat. And if these sell well, then I'm going to be selling them regularly. I'll find a way to make it economical to get them to the store and sell them regularly here so that you can get a microscope that's the same quality as mine for the same price as you would get the lower quality one. And also, my hope is... I, I really, I'm kind of curious to see, since this is my, one of my best-selling items from the Amazon links, is it possible to stop using Amazon affiliate links and still have people buy things? Because I, I can't get rid of Amazon in my life immediately overnight. But what I'd like to do is over the next year, limit my exposure to them to where essentially there's no more affiliate links. I'm not buying things from Amazon. And I just like to make my life a little bit more sustainable in that way to where I'm a little bit more ideologically and ethically consistent. So if I think somebody's doing something that's wrong, and I'm giving them money, how can I kind of back away from it? And some of you have pointed out, you know, at, ever since you did that Amazon affiliate, str uh, that Amazon stream over here, you were pointing out many ways in which Amazon is currently doing things that are really bad for the third party uh, refurbishing and recycling industry, but you still have those links there. And honestly, that's a really good criticism that you had. And I'm trying to take it to heart and change the way I do business. So two days from now, I'm going to be going out in the rain and carrying each one of these microscopes probably. <laughs> on the back of my bike, one at a time, from the cargo pickup area to FedEx back and forth so that Jeff Bezos stops making money off of me. And honestly, I think it's going to be fun. And I think I'll be able to sleep easier as a result of it. So I, a lot of you have been asking when are these microscopes going to be sold. There's going to be a link below. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, I hope you learned something. And best of luck with all of your video productions and pursuits in the future. No more blurry microscope imagery. See you in the next one. Excellent at data recovery, not the best cameraman. What happened, Steve? Dude, you lost your MacBook box right on my fucking stomach. Oh. What do you think is going to happen if you're standing there? It's a but you didn't run through it. You went through it and pushed through it. Jeez.